along oh, yeah. Cottage Grove Avenue. The effort to curb violence is reaching a new beat. It's a little overwhelming sometimes. As Woodlawn resident Timothy Richards worked to show young people here a good example. That's good, man. The amount of gun violence in our city is simply unacceptable. The city of Chicago and anti-violence group Ceasefire today announced a one-year, $1 million partnership with the Department of Public Health, taking 40 additional ceasefire mediators into Chicago police districts. First, in sections of the 10th district on the west side, where the homicide rate has doubled from 12 to 24 in the same period from year to year. And in parts of the 3rd district on the south side, which has seen an 82% jump in homicides, 11 through this time last year, now 20 so far this year. As part of their mission, CSPI will work regularly and engage target individuals who have a propensity for violence and educate them about the perils of being involved in criminal activity and mediate disputes. We, we see this as an extension of the work that CSPAR has been doing all along, but being able to work in a more intensive way. The partnership is a first of its kind between ceasefire and the city of Chicago on this level. One proposed after a deadly Memorial Day weekend which saw 10 people shot and killed and an increase overall in the homicide rates. The police department, they're not looking for ceasefire to be informants. They're not looking for ceasefire to be snitches if you want to use that kind of language. I want to make that clear. We're going to keep doing the work we've been doing. The model gets results and we're going to do the best we can to get homicides down here in Chicago this year. That statement alone is music to the ears of this South Side neighborhood and Timothy Richards, who believes personal responsibility can't work. One person can make a difference. So if there's anybody out there, if you have any visions, if you have any goals, if you have anything that you aspire to do, make it happen and start in your community first. Now, as far as that $1 million is concerned, that is coming from the Chicago Department of Health.